downright nasty day across South Florida on this Wednesday, where as we progress into this afternoon now and into this evening, we're going to be looking at the likelihood of experiencing some flash flooding across the area. Look at all the rain we now have. This is a big difference, by the way, from what we just had about a couple hours ago. Starting to see that rainfall intensity pick up along with the coverage. Notice uh, almost everywhere across South Florida dealing with some kind of rain at the moment. As we zoom in and take a look, Broward County, some heavier pockets, Weston, Pembroke Pines, up through Coral Springs, and Pompano Beach. We're seeing some of those heavier uh, rainfall pockets also up through North Miami-Dade County. Steady downpours from Coral Springs through Miami, Miami Beach, Liberty City, and Doral. We have some of those heavier uh, rainfall rates out towards areas like Miami Lakes and Hard Rock Stadium. Farther south, the Key is also seeing quite a bit of rain, especially from Big Pine through Marathon, all the way up through Key West Middle and also Upper Keys, uh, dealing with certainly some heavy rain at the moment. This is all thanks to this area of low pressure that we've been tracking for the past few days. This is now working its way across the central northern Gulf of Mexico and will continue to slide eastward through the day today. And as it does so, we're going to start to see those rainfall rates pick up. And what we're also going to be watching for is kind of a weak area of low pressure spinning up out in front of that, which we're beginning to see. You can see that little bit of spin here that we're starting to see uh, just offshore from uh, the southwestern coast of Florida. As this moves over our area, that's what's going to continue to enhance our intensity of the rainfall and lead to some very widespread coverage progressing through this afternoon and into this evening. So we're now starting to get into the thick of things and that will continue straight through this evening commute. Unfortunately, it is going to be a rough drive home for many uh, coming back from work today. Heavy rain and also windy. We have those flood watches in effect for all Miami-Dade County up through the metro area Broward County that continues through today, tonight and tomorrow morning. Rainfall totals we're looking at on average across the metro area, three to eight inches with some local spots that could be picking up up to 10 inches of rain. Now, keep in mind, that's on top of some of the rain that we saw yesterday, where areas like Broward County saw already between three to six inches of rain, where so they saw some significant flooding there. Uh, so our soils are already pretty primed in some spots, which is why we have this high risk of flooding. We have a level three out of four risk, significant risk for some flooding. This red shading here means numerous flash floods, likely with some significant flooding events possible. Streets certainly may become impassable, uh, which is why if you can just stay off the roads today, that would be the better idea. We still have those coastal flood advisories because what we're also dealing with are some king tide flooding. So at high tide, we're also going to be looking at some saltwater flooding on top of the freshwater flooding from the heavy rain, uh, which also can prevent drainage at times. Wind advisories in effect across the coast. It's going to be a gusty day with gusts of up to 40 miles per hour. We have those gale warnings kicking in after 4 p.m. A gloomy day. The camera is shaking as those winds are gusting to up to 33 miles per hour. We'll continue with these bands pushing in and notice how heavy it gets as we head towards 3, 4, or five o'clock coverage high through six, seven, eight o'clock, and then we'll finally start to see things lighten up after I would say about early, early, early tomorrow morning, and then improvements then thereafter heading into especially your Thursday evening, Friday, and the weekend ahead. Fast check at the tropics here. A couple areas that we're watching, both of these heading to the northeast. They will not be worried to South Florida as we see a dip in the jet stream heading into the next several days that will keep those back to the south of us and also keep those away from us. Rain chances and limited after Thursday, we start to see things dry up significantly Friday into the weekend. Some good news there. We'll see some lower humidity with lows back in the 60s and low 70s for the weekend ahead.